well as low risk offenders. I remain concerned about the situation in Comoros, including the crackdown on democratic space, with continued restrictions on freedom of expression and of the press, continued and often lengthy detention of civil society activists and members of the political opposition, and unjustified prosecution of journalists. I call on the government to maintain the civic space and uphold human rights and fundamental freedoms. Madam President, protecting civic space and the right of all people to participate are threshold rights. They open up further impacts that build resilience, prosperity, and peace. Today, in every region of the world, people are being left behind or pushed even further behind as the coronavirus pandemic continues to gather pace. They are being excluded not only from development and are from opportunities, but from participation in the decisions that profoundly shape their lives and futures. This makes us all weaker. It heightens grievances that are destabilizing. It means we miss perspective and expertise that could inform and strengthen our initiatives. It, ch it chills corruption and abuses by silencing feedback. This is why my office, this council, and all other stakeholders in the UN family, in regional organizations, and around the world, must speak out against measures that silence civil society. Because working to defend our rights and standing up to support human rights defenders is vital to humanity's future. Thank you very much, Madam President, Excellencies.